G'day gamers, sorry I just had to go to full screen mode. <laughs> Welcome back to the Oasis. Uh, oh, this isn't the Oasis, that was my other world. <gasps> Welcome back to the Outback, my... Oh, there's a... Oh, that's the one I put over there. <laughs> this is my patron server for my patrons and my Twitch subscribers. And we are going to do a few things today. But I want to show you what I've been up to. And I've got a friendly wandering trader just over there. And he's got something that's that makes me a little bit excited. I'm just going to go and pay him a visit before we get started. So I need to go and pick up some emeralds. Yes, I do. Just for you, mate. And the reason I want to get some emeralds, where are they? They're in there. Is because this dude here is selling glowstone. And I haven't been to the never yet. So I just wanted to grab some. Because I ain't got any. So I'll put those away. As you can see, I've been accumulating iron from the iron farm. I've done a little bit. Well, I've done a fair bit off camera, actually. Um, but let me just grab this. That's my pick that I had made previously. And last stream, we made that enchanting uh, structure over there. But off stream, I've been working on the fortifications for the base. And this is what we've got so far. We've got some walls. And I'm planning to put a tower in the corner here. Because I don't think it's all that natural to have a um have a wall without a tower. I'm just gonna put some stuff away. There we go. So at the moment, this is what we've got, and we're looking out on that horsey has been hanging around for yonks, absolute yonks. Um, yeah, I've just planted a few more um, mangroves because I need the red wood. There goes another golem to his doom. So I'm thinking of putting a tower here. And it needs to be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the width of the tower. A little bit, I don't know. Uh, concerned about it only ending there but I don't want to make it too much bigger because you know outside the the sort of boundary of the thing I think that's big enough okay so what else have I been up to well I have been because this is resource intensive big time uh, particularly the deep slate so I've been doing a fair whack of mining um, just to gather the resources to build this wall. And I decided if I'm going to be mining deep slate, I might as well go down deep. And I've gone down to, I think, uh, Y minus 57, and I've done a little bit of digging down there. And I found some things that have made me a little bit excited. If we'll go down and have a squeeze, uh, if I can get down there. And I'll have something to nibble on on the way. And we're going deep into the bowels. There's a lot of caves down here, but I wasn't really interested in going caving, especially if I wasn't recording or streaming or anything like that. I just was just purely looking for resources. So I was gathering cobble up there, and I was working on deep slate just here, and then I decided I'll go deeper again. And I've gone all the way down, and I'm pretty well only one layer above bedrock down here. And... I have made some awesome finds and I wanted to do this on air. Uh, I think yeah, there it is. You can see it right at the end of this tunnel. Look at that. Look at that golden goodness. Because at the moment, the only diamonds I've got are the ones in my uh, pick here. But that is a block of eight. And I've there's fortune on this pick. So I've been waiting to get 11 that's not bad okay so i got 11 from that stack which is quite nice from an eight. Oh, i can hear a zombert uh there we go down here i reckon there's a cave or something above me most likely 
So down here I found another patch of bait. So I'll just grab that. Oh, 28. Wow. Well, let's get that redstone while I'm here. Okay, so that's 28 diamonds from those two stacks. That is pretty epic. And I have one more little batch of diamonds that I found. 28. That's, that's very pleasing. I think it's down this one maybe. Or here, skellies. Or here, endermen. Lots of mobs. There must definitely must be a cave around here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. I was I was tunneling through here and there was gravel, so I was, you know, letting the gravel fall and next thing you know, I had these bad boys looking up at me. Thirty-three. Happy days. Thirty-three diamonds out of that batch. Very pleased with that. That is significantly Oh. I think I've got a glow squid dying. Right, let's get back up to the top. And we might actually do some things with this. These diamonds. Should I invest in another pick? Or should I invest in some armor? That is quite a question, isn't it? Quite a question indeed. I haven't been to the Nevi yet. That's uh, another adventure. So what should we make? You know, that's, what's that? Six, eight. Eight plus five is 13. 17. And another seven. That's 24. And I've still got a couple left over. I can make it a complete set of armor. What the hey? I think I will. Complete set of diamond armor. There we go. Now let's get our lapis. We'll just chuck these diamonds in a Z chest. We'll grab the lapis and we'll go and pay a visit to the enchanting hall. Okay, mate. Look what I got. I got, I got shiny armor. Yes, I did. Let's go over here to the enchanting building. And I've done a little bit of decorating on the inside. It's nothing flash, but it's a start. Right, let's see what we can get. So, Aqua Affinity, Blast Protection, Unbreaking. I think I'll go with the Unbreaking. Oh, and I've got Aqua Affinity and Protection anyway. Very happy with that. I don't have enough XP. I'm breaking, I'm breaking, fire protection, blast protection, unbreaking protection, and fire protection, depth strider, and unbreaking. I might go depth strider. And projectile projection, that's pretty handy. Right, so that's a start anyway. Let's put that lapis away, and we shall retire. Our iron armor. There we go. Oops, it's getting dark. And I might go and see about that tower. I want to see how the tower looks. Just hide that away. Don't need that. Don't need that pick at the moment. And we shall go and have a look at doing a tower. Look, more more golems dying ever so happily. I'm really pleased with how this works out, has worked out. It looks pretty smick. The only thing I didn't think through is the way it's going, It's it would head straight into that house. So I need to... Go off at an angle, I think, along there, along, mirroring the sort of coastline. 
But at the moment, I want to put a tower in the centre here. And that is the corner of the tower. So it would be here. So I'm thinking I'm just going to deconstruct all this so it can actually work with the tower itself. Now the tower design I'm looking at is going to mirror the design of the walls, as you could probably expect. But slightly different, because I can't do it exactly the same. Only because of the shapes and things like that. Okay, so... This is a corner. So, this is a gap. And I should have, I think, that. That. Now I'll have to tweak these. One, two, three, four, five. That. That, that, is that right? I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. That would go there, that one goes all the way down there. And we go one, two, what was that noise? Three, I think that might have been a, um, a squid dying maybe. And we'll go up here. I'm going to have to rip all this down. Which is a shame after building it. But at least the resources are recyclable. You know what? I'm getting bored. You want to see the raid farm? Uh, the not the raid farm, the outpost. Let's go and have a squeeze at the outpost. I am getting bored building this. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you got a little bit of time. I'll get my map. I'll grab myself a bed just so we don't get lost, and we'll go and have a squeeze at the outpost. But while we're doing that, let's empty our iron. Morning then. And we will take a Z map. 
Okay, so this is what I've done now. So that's my base. That's my small scale map. And that's my bigger scale map. But as you can see, there's a lot of snow. A lot and lot of snow. Now, I think the pillager outpost is somewhere around here. So I might need that one. I think that's right. And there's another outpost somewhere around from memory. Where was it? I think it was around here somewhere. And I think that, that uh, dripstone cave was it was just around the corner from that other outpost. But let's see if it's not time. Yeah, hey! Right, let's go. Let's whack that in the offhand. And we will go and have a squeeze at the outpost. What to do with them? Oh, hang on. I'm going back. Going back. Going back. Wait. Wait one second. Um, see how there's a lot of white on the map? There's a lot of powdered snow. So uh, I, I learnt doing the uh, exploration uh, that I need to wear leather boots. So we shall put leather boots on. Because with the leather boots, you can walk over powdered snow. And you certainly need to. Right. Let's go and find this outpost. Ta-da, ta-da. Oh, I might be able to get a goat's horn. How awesome would that be? That would be pretty epic. There it is. There it is. I should have made a telescope. That's what I should have made. Or installed Optifine, which I believe is now available for 119. Right, let's get down this way. And I'm just gonna say, what the hey, let's let's raid this. Let's do it. What do, what do people think? Should I give it a go? Should I? Huh? Should I give it a run and see what happens? Let's see if I can run. Come on, Gob, run. Run! Run like the wind. I don't see any pillagers. Whoa. We're running. We're running. I don't see any pillagers. Oh, yes, I do. Go away, shoo. Where's the door? Because they can't spawn inside the building. Right. So they can't spawn in here. But other things can. What do we got? Oh, a goat horn! I got a goat horn! Hang on, how do we use it? Oh ho ho! Oh, listen to that. It's a little bit, um... I wanted the one that sounds like I'm doing a raid. I'm still pretty pleased with getting that. That's pretty cool. What else have I got? I'll take the dark oak. I'll take the crossbow. I'll take the string because I don't have any. I'll take the ball of enchanting. Happy days. I'm going to put that bed. The bed was out that way, wasn't it? Oh, each one has a different note. You know, this is my first ever goat horn. Yeah, let's get ya. I want your banner, mate. I want your banner. Come on, shoot each other. That'd be nice. Oh my goodness, look at them all. I'm gonna run out of arrows. 
Now, well, is there an ally? That's a golem. Is that the only cell? There's a couple more cells. That's a golem in that one. Ooh. What if I can reach me here? Go get him. Thanks, mate. You get him. I like him. He's my friend. He's my friend. I like him very much. Okay. I think I'm happy. I've got myself a goat horn. I got a banner as a trophy. We'll run back to the bed. Wherever it may be. We're going to have to find, there is my bed. And we'll find ourselves a cow before we go home. They're not following, oh, they are following me. Just a one. Come on, die. There we go. We'll go in here and we shall put this map back. Actually, I wonder if you can put... Yeah, you can. So... <laughs> I'm sorry. I love it. <laughs> oh, that is an absolute cracker. Where shall I put that? I shall put it in this one. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's in my hand. That's right. Should put it in there. All right. All right. Let's prepare ourselves for an adventure. What have I got on me that I don't want? I don't want that. And I don't want that. Put that away. We'll need a bed. Yes. Check. We'll take the stack of arrows. I don't need the spare arrows. I won't take that. I don't think I need the cobble. So I'll keep that on me. Oh, I've got more moss carpet on me. Okay. Oh, it's not disappearing. Uh, you can go in there. Uh, don't think I'll need the clock. Keep the shield. Don't need the ladders. Keep the sticks. Take a stack of dirt, just in case. Won't need my, um, what do you call it? Scaffolding. Uh, but we will want to be able to make some maps. So let's do that. Have I got a blank map anywhere? That's more than enough paper, actually. Don't need that at all. What I will need is to make compasses. Uh, sorry, looking around randomly. Take my chest boat. Don't see any maps in there. Nope. We'll make four compasses. That'll get me four maps. I've got enough paper to expand it. There's four maps. Might take a little bit more paper, actually. So we've got this map here. Which is where we'll start. Might leave my bucket here too, actually. And we shall have a sleep, take the cartography table, and head south. And we're back in Galar Grove, and we're just going to visit the Guardian Hall and welcome our latest Guardian. And for Episode 6, 
And uh, I think this is actually showing as episode five because I got them the wrong way around. But anyway, we won't talk about that. Uh, we have someone who, uh, who who reckons that my uh, episodes are pretty good and they don't know why I don't have more views. And you know what? I like their thinking. So without any further ado, the Guardian for today's episode is... Frank Rosenfall. Thank you, Frank, uh, for m making my day with your comment. I really do appreciate it. And uh, in gratitude, I have added you to the ranks of my guardians. Um, right. Congratulations. Right, let's get back to it. Right, wild blue. Now, I think I want to go that way. We'll see what we can see. But the vast majority of biomes I've seemed to have found in this world have been um, spruce forests, uh, dark oak forests, and tundras. So it would be really nice. Is that a seriously? Is that is that is, that could be just a beach? No, I'd say that's a beach. Looks like I've been along there before. Looking at the map. Right, we're about to go off this map. And this is why I brought the, um, what do you call it? The cartography table with me. Look at that little structure down there. And we're about to be marooned on a desert island. Where's the sun? What a cute little island. What a cute island. Where's the sun? There it is. All right, cartography table down. We shall take this map out of our hand. Give ourselves a new map. There we go. A map of just. Mostly water. And we shall expand it out. It's complete maximum. There we go. And let's grab that. And we'll continue on our adventure. Now, I don't know how long you guys have been playing Minecraft, but, you know, the advent of the aquatic update, which brought in the coral reefs and all that sort of stuff, really did change the nature. Oh, yes, it changed the nature of the game. But look what I found. It's a desert. I'm pretty sure it's a desert. Is that cactus? It's cactus! I found cactus! <gasps> and a village! Well, I don't have anything in my chest boat, so I can break that. Cactus. Thank you. I got cactus! I got cactus! I'm so exciting! <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Whoa. Oh, what a pretty little house. With lots of pots. Oh, and a brewing stand. Take the redstone. You know what? I'll take that too, because down the track I might make myself a cleric. Well, this village and this little area restores my faith that this world is not just all snow. I'm starting to get a little bit worried. I think I've been in that house. Yes, I have. I was getting very... Um, shall we venture forth? Let's go a little bit further south and see what we can find. Is that a structure in the distance? Oh my goodness. Another pillager outpost. Is that a desert temple? I think it is. Right next to the outpost. Right, okay. So, where's that? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Let's do the same ta tactic as before. I wish I had my horn with me. I could go. Bah, 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 bah. Where's the door? Where's the door? Ah, 
Oh, there's allies! Right. Let's see what we've got. Oh, there's no horn. Did get a crossbow. Um, there is that an iron golem down there? I think it is. There are some allies down here too. There's another golem. We got anything down this side? No. All right. Okay. So iron golem is in that direction. As are the allies. What's the range of these crossbows? Can they get me here? Yes, they can! Running, 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 run, go run! Oh, can they get me here, I say? Yes, they can. Let's go and check out this. Badlands. I'm a bit excited about finding that. Not only did I find a desert, which is my goal, but I found this as well. Not very big at all by the looks of it. It's tiny. Now, have a look at this map and see if there's bad lambs on the map. It is hardly registering. Look at that. That's a shipwreck sticking out of uh, the beach. They're the bestest sort of shipwrecks. There we go. We'll take the empty map. We'll take the buried treasure map. What can I get rid of? Those, definitely. Very treasure map can go in my hand. Oh, I'm pretty well on top of it. There it is. Knew it all along. Never doubt me. Oh, I'll take that. Definitely take. Okay, so that's that one there, and I need one to go there now. Do I have another item frame? Uh, item frames, item frames. Paintings, no. Let's just make an item frame. Unless I've got one in here. Uh, no item frames. Put them back in my inventory. Talking to myself, don't mind me. Item frame, item frame, item frame. That one can go there. And we'll put that there. There we go. <laughs> what an absolute crack of an episode. We got a goat horn. <laughs> oh, sorry, beans. <laughs> hey, hang on, we gotta do it again. <sighs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you like the stream and you're not a follower, please chuck me a follow. Doesn't cost you absolutely anything but it uh, might remind you to come and check it out again next time I stream. I generally try to do it on a Thursday evening Australian Eastern time. Uh, if you also want to check out my content I have a YouTube channel. Uh, Sunday Latte has put it up as a link just in the chat so uh, go give it a squeeze and uh, if you want to chuck me a sub it would be absolutely epic. Uh, but that's all i got time for tonight. Until next time hooroo! Oh. And stick around. We'll see if we can find some. Well, pardon. <laughs> we'll see if we can find someone to raid. Okay, I'll uh, just be right back. Just don't go anywhere.